Now, here's some just general comments on LP problems. There are many equivalent formulations. You can allow inequalities in both directions. You can have equations. Uh, if you want, you can allow them all to be equations. Uh, the solution space forms a convex body. Think in three space of like a diamond, a diamond with many facets. You can have as many facets as you can afford on the diamond. But the optimization problem always achieves the best value at one of the corner points of the, of the faces. So the theory of linear programming is to find efficiently those corner points, or to more explicitly, to move around on those corner points in such a way that you move quickly to an extreme value. Linear programming is a very, very important classical area of optimization, and it is used extensively in the real world. So every company of any size has got somebody in there that's the local LP guru, and they run and maintain uh, proprietary software for solving linear programming problems. Big ones, big ones, huge ones. But I want to draw your attention to this last paragraph on this slide. In general, linear programming problems posed with integer constraints have solutions in the rational number system, but in general, they do not have solutions with all variables being integers. But network flows are different. If I give you a network flow problem in which all the capacities are integers, then the ford fulkerson labeling algorithm will find an optimum flow where all the flow values are integers. And the reason is that the operations in ford fulkerson are addition, subtraction, and minimum. And if you have any two integers, and you add them or subtract them or take the minimum, you still get a, another integer. You never leave the field of integers. While it's very easy to make up a network for which there is an optimum solution, which doesn't have integer values, Ford Fulkerson will never find such. It will only find an integer value solution. And I comment on this slide that if you become a professional optimizer, you'll make a lot of money. Don't forget to give some of it back to Georgia Tech, earmarked for the School of Math. <laughs> but uh, it will be very important for you to know when an optimization problem posed in integers has an integer valued solution. Now, this is going to be extremely important for us. Look at that network. All the capacities are one. And I've given you a flow in which all the flow values are 0 or 1. Now, I, I listed at the bottom of the slide that it's an exercise. I want you to carry out the Ford Fulkerson labeling algorithm on this. Uh, there's not time to do it uh, in class today, so I want you to download the PowerPoint, which will be up later today, and, and have that answer before you come to class on, on Thursday. Okay? I'll see you on Thursday. We'll pick up right here.